Hey everyone, welcome back to Shutas Universe. Today I'm taking a little break from the usual Inktober videos and this work was for one of my class works and it's my friend that I have painted with my Holbein Aurora polymer emulsion acrylic colors and spatula. Now I'm showing you how I have mixed two colors for the drawing with a small brush and I'm using an old calendar for my palette. This is what the color look, looks like when I mix a deep red with black. Now I'll show the drawing quickly. I've mixed some water with those two colors to make it more usable because I'm working on a handmade paper which is made for watercolors but works with acrylic pretty well. For drawing with the small brush for an acrylic or oil painting, I like this color the most. And it's way better than making a pencil drawing under colorful acrylic or oil paintings because this drawing gets mixed with the color when you paint over it. You don't have to worry too much on this drawing part because if you are a good painter you will always be able to fix your drawing while you paint. That's what my teacher has told me. Now I'll start working with this spatula. This is a size 4 and I wish I had a smaller spatula but I've not got any right now. So I'm using it and these are the colors that I'm going to use on this picture and this is kind of a fauvism inspired portrait and it's going to have a lot of colors in it not depending on the skin tone every time but uh, using various colors i'm just picking the color from the palette and applying it to the face i mean <laughs> to my portrait drawing I think the spatula skill totally depends on practice. If you want to make an amazing drawing or painting using just spatula, oh, all you have to do is practice and more practice. I'm not using skin tones but I'm following the lights and darks. Obviously that's a very important thing to follow the lights and darks on a painting. So I'm putting darker colors on the shadowy part and lighter on the bright part. You have to be a little careful about the eye areas because these are narrow areas and but don't worry if you put a wrong color then you can put the right color on top of that it doesn't matter and this kind of spatula paintings are usually heavy i mean heavily applied with colors for the thin lines i'm using the tip of the spatula and the other way around i mean the side of the spatula that we don't use normally or usually. I have slowed down the video on this part to show you how I am doing the thin or delicate lines with the tip of my spatula. I think the eye areas are the toughest areas on this painting. I have taken this little piece of cloth to wipe uh, my spatula and now I am using it for you know correcting my painting a bit. This is how you do the eyeball part, nice and slow 
pick up color on the tip of your spatula and slowly go over the areas you want to be painted on this color the second eye is going to be just the same as the first one I think I could leave the white areas on the eyes but I have applied white color later and that made it a little bit more tough for me while painting the eyeballs make sure you leave the white areas or highlighted areas because that's what make the eye really pop up or makes it attractive I don't have white paint on this acrylic set of mine and I would like to add some white so I've taken some of my acrylic gesso that is white colored and now I'm applying it when you want to make thin lines with a spatula then you have to use the edge of the spatula just like this I really love this painting style I mean this doesn't take much time and patience and it just it's easy but it's beautiful and I think it's more artistic than the realistic or hyper realistic portraits then another difficult area is the lip area don't worry though you just have to be careful and a little bit patient on this part so I think if you will would like to start painting like this or using a spatula just a spatula then I hope this video was useful for you I hope you learned something from this and I hope you would be able to apply these techniques you have learned from here so if you make some painting like this then please share with me in the comment box and please let me know what kind of art tutorials you want me to make for you on Shutas universe and this month's special is Inktober so please check out my Inktober 2020 playlist for my Inktober videos and if you've enjoyed this please subscribe to Shutas Universe for more videos and please stay connected please stay happy and healthy and never stop being creative
Oh, 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 oh,